The Yale Cancer Center recently received notification from the National Cancer Institute that we've been renewed as an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. That's extraordinarily important to Yale and to our patients. Comprehensive means that you have patient care and research in a broad number of areas, all the way from cancer prevention and control, which means what predisposes us to getting cancer, how do our dietary and health um, activities lead or predispose us to getting cancer, to basic cancer research, meaning work which is designed to look at the fundamental uh, causes of cancer at a cellular and molecular level, and then finally cancer treatment and clinical research where we take the, we take the, the science and we turn it into new treatments for patients. And that comprehensiveness is something which is incredibly important for us as a cancer center. Cancer research um, is something which is incredibly exciting and yet at times uh, something is still humbling for us. Um, I get asked often, how close are we to curing cancer? Uh, has the Human Genome Project yielded results that bring us closer to curing cancer? What I would say is, is that we're right now at the cusp of being able to use the tools of the Human Genome Project, the, the tools that allow us to sequence genes to get us closer to being able to, to treat uh, cancer. I do believe that cancer will be cured, whether that's in 10 years or 50 years, I'm not certain. But I believe we now have a path to think about how we're going to get there. And it's going to come from understanding the genetic makeup of an individual cancer and understanding the genetic makeup of a patient and how those two factors interact. Also at the Yale Cancer Center, we have a terrific amount of work looking at the immune system and how the immune system can be used to, to, to fight cancers. This year, for the first time, we've seen results that suggest that the body's immune system can be turned on specifically to fight melanomas, uh, lung cancers, kidney cancers, cancers in the genital urinary system. And so the idea that the body's immune system can be used in concert with drugs that target genetic abnormalities within cancers makes me think that we're going to be able to extend survival from cancer. Clinical trials are at the heart of what we need to be doing as a comprehensive cancer center. If you look globally in the United States, there'll be more than 500,000 deaths from cancer this year. There'll be more than 1.5 million people who are diagnosed with cancer this year, yet less than 1% of both of those groups will participate in, in cancer clinical trials. We are not doing well enough in treating cancer to have that number be that low. I believe that number needs to be closer to 20% of the patients who are diagnosed uh, with cancer in a given year. So we've worked very hard over the past four years since Milo Cancer Hospital has been opened to specifically focus on how do we bring more clinical trials to patients? How do we get patients um, to be able to enroll in clinical trials which are asking important questions about their cancer and are giving patients hope? I think we need more effort on the, uh, on the uh, uh, approach to um, uh, patients' mood and, and state of, of mind with cancer. And so Yale Cancer Center and Yale New Haven Hospital and Smilo are investing in a psychiatric oncology program, creating a psycho-oncology program for Smilo, where we bring in a team of psychiatrists who are focused intensely on cancer and how our mood, be it depression, be it anxiety, uh, be it manic depressive illness, how that impacts our understanding of cancer and our experience of cancer. So I think these are all areas that will be important on the clinical side for Yale Cancer Center as we move forward. On the research side, I think we need to continue to see more efforts in cancer genetics and more efforts in cancer tumor immunology. Personally, I would like to see us be able to uh, begin to start seeing some of the laboratory advances start to impact survivals in cancer. We've got some hints now that some of these treatments are able to make people live longer. And my hope over the next five years is that we start seeing some of these treatments applied to patients in a way that increases the lifespan of patients who are facing cancer. And I think that in certain areas we're close to doing that. We've done it in breast cancer. If you look at some of the big successes over the past five years before this in breast cancer, they've come from taking drugs which work well in patients who have advanced disease and have actually increased the cure rate of patients who've got earlier disease. I'd like to see more of that happen for more solid tumors. When we opened the Smilo Cancer Hospital, Joel Smilo spoke to the audience who was there that day and Joel said one of the things he really hopes for is that one day someone will go to his granddaughter. His granddaughter was with us in the audience and she was about 12 years old at the time. And someone will go to your, his granddaughter and say, you know, we've got this problem. Your grandfather gave 
the Smilo Cancer Hospital to Yale and to the people of Connecticut uh, for the express purpose of taking care of cancer and say to his granddaughter, we've now cured cancer, what should we do at the hospital now? So we, I would very much like to see that happen as well. Um, and um, I, I think that that's something which is a dream and a vision which is within our scope. But I also think it's important to know that these things do take time and I just don't know how soon that will be. Um, is it is it 10 years? Is it 50 years? Is it 100 years? Um, I, I, I do think it's going to happen, but I, I just am not certain as to the pace of which it's going to happen. And so within my career, I don't see a time where I'm going to feel satisfied that we've done the job. I think it's going to be something that's going to need to, to, to continue.